Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell the solution of third problem from exercise 8.2 from quadrilaterals chapter class 9. This problem is based on midpoint theorem. In this problem ABCD is a rectangle and PQ or S are midpoints of the sides AB, BC, CD and DA. Show that the quadrilateral PQ or S is a rhombus. So here ABCD is a rectangle. Rectangle means it is a parallelogram with opposite sides are equal and each angle of a rectangle is 90 degrees. So right here ABCD is a rectangle and PQ or S are midpoints of the sides of the rectangle. If you join these midpoints you will get a quadrilateral and here we have to show that this quadrilateral is a rhombus. Now we have to prove that PQ or S is a rhombus. We know that rhombus is a parallelogram with adjacent sides are equal. So first we have to prove that PQ or S is a parallelogram and here I have taken one pair of adjacent sides so those are PS and PQ. So we have to prove PS is equal to PQ. Now join AC and BD then you will get a triangle here in triangle ABC PQ or midpoints. So we can apply midpoint theorem here. We know that as per midpoint theorem the line segment joining the midpoints of the sides of the triangle is e parallel to the third side and it is equal to half of the third side. So as per midpoint theorem PQ is parallel to AC and PQ is equal to half of AC. This is first equation and take this triangle in triangle ADC SR are midpoints of these two sides of the triangle. So SR is parallel to AC and SR is equal to half of AC. This is second equation. Now from 1 and 2 PQ is parallel to AC, SR is parallel to AC. So PQ is parallel to SR and here PQ is equal to half of AC and SR is equal to half of AC. So PQ is equal to SR. So in this quadrilateral PQ is parallel to SR and PQ is equal to SR. We know that if one pair of opposite sides are, is parallel and uh, equal then that is a parallelogram. So PQ RS is a parallelogram. This is third equation. Now to prove PQ RS is a rhombus we have to prove that one pair of adjacent sides is equal. Here I have taken PS and PQ these two are adjacent sides of this parallelogram. So if you observe here PS and PQ are sides of this triangles, these two triangles. So take these two triangles now in triangle PAS and triangle PBQ. PAS and PBQ here PA is equal to PB because P is the midpoint of this side of the rectangle that is given in the problem. So P is the midpoint so PA is equal to PB right here and angle A is equal to angle B is equal to 90 degrees because in rectangle all angles are 90 degrees. So right here then AS is equal to BQ because S is the midpoint of this side and Q is the midpoint of this side and these two sides are equal AD and BC are equal in a rectangle opposite sides are equal and these two are midpoints of these two sides so AS is equal to BQ right here so side angle side of this triangle are equal to side angle side of this triangle so triangle PAS is congruent to triangle PBQ by SAS congruence rule once these two triangles are congruent we can equal the con corresponding parts of these two triangles. So here PS is the side of this triangle and PQ is the side of this triangle. We can equal these two sides. So PS is equal to PQ by CPCT. These two are adjacent sides of uh, this parallelogram. So PQ or S is a parallelogram from third equation and uh, PS is equal to PQ. These two are adjacent sides are equal. So we can say that PQ or S is a rhombus. Now do this exercise. And uh, here are the answers.